<laughs> yeah, it was all right. You, you know what's sweet? The, pa- the fact that everyone uh, doubted me. The fact that everyone doubted me. Um, I think that made it a little bit more sweeter. So, um, But all respect to Sonny, he's a top fighter. He's been, um, been the man in the division. But I always knew that I was uh, coming for that spot. Galau, congratulations. A fantastic performance. Uh, anything surprise you tonight? Did you expect it to be harder? Did it go how you, you anticipated? Um, did it surprise you? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I think it surprised everyone. Um, no, it didn't surprise me. Um, Sonny's a top competitor, but I've spied him for years. Um, you know, when we fought, I was, you know, I, was a gra- I was a graph dad when we fought. I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I knew I was a better man. Um, but all respect to Sonny, he's a top fighter. I said to him, it seemed like he really struggled with that fast pace that you put right out of the blocks in those first 30 seconds. You came out of the blocks flying. Uh, did you feel like from the, the first bell, it was your fight from that moment? I think so, don't you think? Did you watch the first round? I very much did, yeah. Yeah, I thought I put him down in the first round as well, but um, I felt comfortable from the get-go. Um, but I had to train hard for Sonny. Um, in all the other fights, I haven't felt worried like I did with Sonny. Um, sometimes I can get a, too, a bit, like say, a bit chilled, I should say, um, laxidated, I should say. Um, but tonight I was on the ball. Um, but yeah, it was a good performance. I'll have to watch it back though. Yafai versus Edwards. Uh, we heard a lot about bloodline in the build-up to this too. Obviously, very famous families in, in British boxing. Uh, what did it feel like to be a part of an event like this? It's not often you fill a room like this for a flyweight main event. You've done that. You must be really proud. Yeah, I'm proud. Um, you know, I, I won Olympic gold and I, and I was laid back. Um, I'm pretty laid back, you know. Um, I think a lot of people underrated me um, before this fight. Maybe that's down to my own fault for not performing all the time. Um, but I felt like I performed tonight and hopefully I could perform better in the future. Cheers. Galal, just a couple for me. On that being like overlooked, it's mad that an Olympic gold medalist comes into a fight as the, the underdog. Do you, why do you think that is? Do you think that's... It's, you're not the only one that has been maybe overlooked for that. Why do you think that might be? Um, probably because I've... Maybe because Sonny's really good. Um, but also maybe I've failed to fl- flatter pe- people. Uh, maybe I've not been as good as what people thought. Um, but like I said before, sometimes I'm a bit too chilled and yeah, I always train hard, but sometimes I don't really get off of fights. This fight, I was, I was really up for it um, and it being in my home city and everyone thinking I was going to lose, it got me um, it got me up for it. Do you think that performance, I, I suppose, will make those people stand up and take notice and is it Kinshiro next, what you want for the full title? Um, well, your first question, I, I, you know what, to be fair, I don't care what people think. Um, yeah, it gets me... It, it does piss me off a little bit sometimes, um, but I just do what I do. Um, and as for who, whoever's next, I'll just leave it up to Eddie, Matchroom and the team, and I'll just do the training and the fighting. Galau, congratulations. Um, if it is Kinshara Taraji next, obviously he's from Japan, you won your Olympic gold in Japan, it'd definitely be kind of a full circle moment if you did win the world title there. Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. You know, I, I loved it in Japan. Um, I was there for a while, you know, in, at the Olympics. I managed to have... Uh, it was, it's a good omen fighting there. I won the Olympic gold there. So, um, yeah, if I have to go there, I have to go there. But at the moment, I just want to chill now, relax. Um, and, yeah, I'll leave up to Eddie and uh, I'm at Truman. Yeah, like I said, I'll just do the training and the fighting and let them decide who I fight. Eddie, uh, same question. Who who next for Galau your fight? It seems like the sky's the limit at the moment. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is uh, the natural move, you know, natural progression, um, interim world champion. And I'm sure we'll be ordered um, to fight for the full title. Um, a lot of options, though, and we know that Japan is a huge mar- market for the lighter weight classes, and um, whoever we can try and bring here is always the first priority. We've got great momentum now in Birmingham, great crowd tonight, great performance, and he's going to be around for a long time. You know, I mean, I w- probably three or four rounds in, I was thinking to myself, my God, Galau against Bam in a couple of years is going to be absolutely breathtaking, and that, that's like a natural, like, you know, I mean, do we bring a legend here? You know, do we bring... Chocolatito over. Do we bring one of those, you know, Quadras, whoever it is, or whoever's still, fl- you know, a big, big name? But I don't really want to see him tread water. Like, he, he's basically just said it there himself. When he's not threatened by the opponent, finds it a bit boring. And I think physically, if you looked at him on the scales, I thought you looked totally different on the scales. Just looked like he trained that little bit harder because he knew how good the opponent was. And I think you're going to get the best out of him when he's, he fears and respects the opponent. So, you know, Rob's done a great job and Rob's brilliant at protecting the fighter and, and making sure. That was a big, big decision tonight to take that fight. You know, and not for Galau because he just took it straight away, but for the team and they made the right decision. They took their time. They made sure they got what they wanted and it was all right and, and perfect. And it was a big gamble and it, it absolutely paid off. 
Galal, first of all, congratulations. Cheers. If it is Sonny's last fight, how glad are you that it was you that he shared that with? And um, how proud are you of your performance tonight here in Birmingham? Yeah, if it's his last fight, you know, he's, like I said, he's been a good advocate for British boxing, you know, flyweight boxing in Britain. Um, but I've known Sonny a long time. We, we met like 10 years ago before. Um, so it's, if it's his last fight, it's, it's great that he's got to fight me and it's 1-1 now. Um, and yeah, I'm proud of my performance. Um, sometimes I'm not always so proud. Um, I don't always perform. Um, but like I said before, I need to be... I need to be a bit worried, and tonight I was worried uh, throughout my whole camp, um, and I think it showed in my performance. Thank you, and congratulations. Yes. Two more questions, guys, if we've got any. Andy? Galal, congratulations on Cheers, a dominant mate. performance tonight. Um, one of the other talking points from the fight was Sonny's behaviour during the fight. Um, I'm sure you've been made aware after, if not in between rounds. Now, what was his behaviour? So he said to his corner team early on in the fight that he didn't want to be in the ring. What round was it? I think it was in, in between the second. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it seemed quite emotionally disturbing to, to watch. Uh, yeah. Just hearing that now, just your thoughts and the fact that obviously he retired immediately after the fight as well. Yeah, it's sad, obviously, you know. The, the thing is, I know it was like labelled bloodline, but me and Sonny were actually cool. I know we'd throw little digs here and there and he thought... You know, I get to, I heard something said I get tired in seven, eight. Um, but we, we're cool, we're respectful, um, and he, he's a top fighter. And like I said, I, I looked up to him, you know, coming through when he's world champion. Um, but it was my time, and tonight showed. What did the support from Birmingham mean as well? Because it was, it was talking a build up of obviously JK walking out, Sonny, he's from Birmingham. But traitor. you had. <laughs> he's a traitor. Uh, it pissed me off when he come, when he walked him out. Um, not that I give a shit, cause I don't really, I don't really know him I know way too much. But you know, if you're if you're a brummy, you stick with brummies. Um, but it is what it is. I, I think I think I showed him. One more hit. Yeah, his boy got beat up. Uh, Galal, you arguably did a better job than Bam Rodriguez in there tonight. You got it done quicker and maybe a bit more emphatically. Do you think you've put your name right up there now with the likes of him and the big names in the division? Um, I don't know. You know. I, I, you know what, it's a good question, I don't even know. Um, I'll have to prove it. I, I don't think one fight proves that I'm up there. You know, they're like two division world champions. Um, I'm not even a world champion yet. Um, hopefully I can get up there, we'll see. I take it one fight at a time. Um, I don't just, I'm not going to try and live off this. You know, I've got to do more, I've got to be world champion. All right, everyone, red hot performance, great performance, new WBC interim world champion, Galalia Fai. Well done, mate. Thank you.